So whether you're doing a an acrylic or a gel, the same rules apply with your tips and all those techniques and tips that I've shown you previously. So this was the nail tip that fitted. Now, what you can do as well, if it is too wide as you're fitting it, you can just at this part here, cut a small amount off. And then from there, to the side wall, you can then remove the side wall at a later date. So that then fits better and it's not flaring onto the skin. I'm just going to cut a tiny bit more off this side. So with this tip what we actually want is for this to be super super thin and one so it pinches well and two because actually when you look at a nail tip it has quite a thickness to it and the finished shape that we want generally for a competition is we want it to be paper thin so we need to then put product on top of that and this is about the thickness that, that we want to achieve for the end result. So we need to thin this out, ready for the application of product on that. So I'm going to file that. So you can do this with an e-file or a hand file. I'm going to file this now. And potentially this is something that you can do beforehand, you would need to see. Sometimes you can pre-fit your tips and know what tip size that you want to achieve. Again, always read the rules for every competition that you are doing to make sure that if you can do anything to save time or stress on the day, that you can do that beforehand. So you don't have to do this off the nail, you can do this on. This is just a good tip that I find easier to save time on the competition. This is something you could potentially be doing whilst you've got gel in the lamp if you're working on the other hand. And then check that the thickness is the same all over. And you'll see from doing that, that's already much more pliable. So it will be able to be pinched a lot better and you won't have the resistance of where it was thicker and when I was trying to pinch it, it was bending. So keep checking the thickness of it as you do this. And at that point, if you knew that those side walls were also too low, you could also file them now. We want this area to be super thin because when we glue this to the nail, we don't want a ledge at all because what we don't want to do is waste time then blending that tip in. Don't worry if you file into that as well because you're going to be covering it. The other thing you can also do is you can file that smile line deeper if you need for the application of that nail. So sometimes you will need a deeper C curve to fit the shape of the nail. So if you need to do this, you can file that C curve. Now you can do it with your e-file or you can do it with your hand file. Also, depending on what you are um, doing, you may use that smile line on that tip as your guideline shape for your pink. So again, if it's easier to make it deeper and the shape that you need at that point, you can do so. So again, it depends exactly what competition you're entering, what rules there are and what the required end results are. I'm just smoothing that out now. So there's a lot that you can do to your tip beforehand to help you. So this is what it's all about. It's all about finding trips, tricks and tips that will help save you time on the day and help get you extra points. So I'm just getting the can down now to remove any of that dust. 
And these tips and tricks that I do, I will actually do different ones on different models because their nails will be different. So we'll have different requirements and different shapes that we're working with. So I've got this tip here and I'm now going to apply just a small amount of glue into that well. The best glue to use is a really quick drying one. And the best that I have found to use is, if you're in the UK, is um, Superdrug's own brand. Um, again, play with different glues and find what you find works for you. So I'm now applying this there now. And what I want to do is hold both sides. So we want the corners to be adhered and the middle and we want to make sure the application of this is straight in line with the finger so same with the form fit the application of the tip is the same so i'm pressing like this to hold it in place now if you don't have time or if it's really cold or your glue seems to be taking ages to dry or it's moving what you can do as an alternative is get your pinching clip and apply it like this so the contact points are joined and it's adhering while she would then potentially be prepping this other nail or something like that. So that is something else that you can do if you need. Now, depending what techniques you've done, once that tip is glued, you may find you want to, or you may find you need to blend at that contact point. So this is a wellless tip, so it didn't need to be pit at a certain place it could be pit further down the nail if needed with the tips we want to check the length we need for that required free edge shape as well so the more you practice so the more you practice you will get to know your model's nails so you will know how long they are naturally you will know what length tip you need to apply so if we look here we've got a length of one three so 3.3 all together so depending what length we want we maybe want let's say a 1.5 is often so 1.5 so our pink that our extended pink we would be doing would be coming here and then the white from those corner points so some, an area that you can blend if you feel that you need once it is applied is those corner points. Again, it can be done with an e-file if you prefer or for speed. I always find it really important to blend those corner points in. And the reason for this is when we then do the smile line, those corner points, as we know, are often quite thin. And that can be somewhere that's over filed. And if you have a little bit of tip poking out, it can affect the, the sharpness of those corner points when you create them. So that just tends to be the area that I blend. Then once you're happy with that, you can apply, that's just the dust up from the file because I don't want to have any dust in that. You can come on with your primer if you want at this natural nail it can go on the tip it doesn't matter but it also doesn't need to now if it's very cold where you're working i would recommend not applying the primer and that is because it can if you're using a product like acrylic sometimes it can crystallize and cause it to not cure as easily for you so I'm going to come in with my nail tip. So what we would need to do is know at this point how long we're doing it. So this way I've said if we're doing 1.5, we'd measure that to there. And we need to know the corner points. So we'd say the corner points to make sure we'd start there. So you could draw that, the corner points on the finger, because that will wipe off with some cleanser afterwards. Ideally, you don't want to draw on the nail tip, because what that's going to do is that is potentially going to show and you could lose points. 
So if that was the 1.5 here, then we would also then need 1.5 from the corner points. If we go from this side, again, depending on the competition and the measurements that you've got. So if your, your competition doesn't state exact measurements, make sure they're consistent on all five or ten nails. So that would be here. So you could make a mark at that point or you could hold your finger and then you're going to come in with your tip cutter. Always hold to support this contact point where you're cutting your tips because what you don't want to do is put pressure on that and it pings off. Now also you may want to just cut, leave it a little bit longer than you need because that will give you a little bit of room for error when filing. So hold up, cut that length off. Again, you will see that it's got quite a decent C curve, but we want that to be a full 50%, so we will need to pinch that. But we filed it to make it thinner, which you'll see from that bit that I've cut off, it's much more pliable now I've, um, now I've filed that. So 